Lord Jesus. Bring it to me, Lord. 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 Be advised, my OnlyFans is now 20% off. Weirdos are going to come after y'all. Oh, no. Never. Oh, never. Enough is enough. I think I finally figured it out, Buff Nation. For months now, the conversation around Colorado football has circled one man, Coach Prime. Deion Sanders has been labeled in every possible way, from a distraction to an underdog, and every critique seems to get more personal with each passing week. It's almost as if people can't separate the man from the myth, or worse, they refuse to. The criticism? It's not about his coaching acumen or his ability to game plan. No, the attacks seem aimed directly at Deion Sanders, the person, as if he's the one out there taking hits on the field. For some, it's like Deion Sanders, the player's dead, the man who dominated both the NFL and Major League Baseball, who changed the way we think about two-sport athletes, has in their minds retired into obscurity. But the truth is, Deion Sanders never really left. He just became Coach Prime. And as Coach Prime, he's not just building a team, he's building a culture. A culture that unapologetically embraces confidence, resilience, and yes, swagger. A culture that gives young men, especially young black men, the freedom to excel with a sense of pride in themselves that so often makes people uncomfortable. I've heard it said a million times, Dion's time has passed, but when you look closely, it becomes clear what people really fear isn't his past, it's his present. Coach Prime isn't just teaching these young men football, he's giving them something more, a belief in themselves that transcends the game, and that terrifies his detractors. Take a step back, and you'll see it plain as day. Remove Colorado's record for a moment. Forget about the fact that they're sitting at 2-1 and one with the defense that clamps down on opponents in the second half like a steel trap and an offense that's thriving with two Heisman contenders in Travis Hunter and Shedder Sanders. Strip all of that away and the story changes. If this were any other coach with any other team, the narrative would be simple. Look at this incredible turnaround. What an exciting team to root for. But because it's Coach Prime, they're rooting against him. The media, the haters, they're more interested in tearing down the man than analyzing the football. They don't see a coach doing everything in his power to elevate these kids. They see Deion Sanders and their critiques get personal. And let's not dance around the reason. It's because Coach Prime is unapologetically himself. A black man leads young black men, showing them how to carry themselves with pride and ensuring they know their worth. That's what bothers people. The irony is that the more they hate, the stronger Buff Nation becomes. Every unfair critique, every headline dripping with bias, it only makes Colorado more formidable. The fans see it. We see it. There's something special building in Boulder. And while the haters are too busy fixating on Coach Prime's past, or throwing mud on his name, they're missing the fact that he's creating a new future for Colorado, for these players, and for college football as a whole. If you're still rooting against Coach Prime and this Buffalo squad, maybe you should ask yourself why. Because when you look at the football being played, there's nothing but excitement and excellence. So, what's the real issue? Maybe it's time for everyone to recognize that what's happening at Colorado isn't about Deion Sanders trying to relive his glory days. It's about Coach Prime ushering in a new era, and he's doing it unapologetically on his terms. I'm coming. I already made reservations. That's the belief. Are you the belief or the believer? I know who I am. We gotta find out who you are. I'm coming.